Alright, so here's a tip for y'all. See this mud flap right here? This is a container. These containers are notorious for the landing gear being made like that, right? Now, I'm not doing containers anymore. It's just so happened that uh, the company that I'm contracted with is having me pull this container today for whatever reason, but I do have experience with containers. But if I didn't, I would have missed this right here. So when I go to make a turn, this mud flap is gonna hit that right there and it's gonna tear my it's gonna tear my whole assembly up right here. Alright? So what I'm about to do is I'm about to slide my tandems, I mean my fifth wheel, all the way to the back. So that way this will have room to clear that when I make a turn. Um, I can't tell you how many times I see, you know, drivers out here and their mud flaps are just all bent up and falling off. It's because of that most of the time. So that's just a quick tip for y'all. If you're pulling a container with a, you know, a chassis, something like that, uh, make sure you watching out for this because you know, these ain't the most expensive things in the world, but they're not cheap either. And so, you know, you can save yourself some money by not doing damage. You know, why not? Anyways, that's just a quick tip. Uh, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna slide this. I'm gonna slide this fifth wheel right here. So it's right here, you see right now it's locked in right here. So I'm gonna lock it in all the way at the end back here. All right? So. That's all I got for y'all now. I'm out. Peace.